What's going on, Tar Hill Nation? It is your favorite North Carolinian, Ross the Tar Hill. And in this huddle, we're going to talk about the pork. And no, I'm not talking about which pork barbecue is better, whether it be Eastern or Western, Lexington or Piedmont. But since we're on that stinking topic, baby, there is nothing better than some vinegar-based barbecue with that peppery bite. You can get that ketchup-based garbage out of here. And Lord forgive all of those knuckleheads south of the border that try to prop up that mustard-based trash, dude. Insert unpaid advertisement right here for Smithfield's chicken and barbecue. Every time my family goes home, we head up I-95 North and we stop in Lumberton at Smithfield's Chicken and Barbecue and I get two sandwiches, bro, and it hits home every stinking time. That is my spot. And before I leave North Carolina, guess what I do? We stop there again as we head back south, man. So, hey, Smithfields, call me. But enough jacking around, bro. Let's talk about some Tar Heel football. And more specifically, in this huddle once again, we're going to talk about the Hog Mollies. Now, gone is the super senior, Corey Gaynor, to the NFL draft. Gone is Diego Pounds to Ole Miss because they showed him the bag. Gone is Ed Montalus and Spencer Rollin to the NFL draft. But returning is the pit bull himself, the 5'11". That's right, 5'11", 291-pound dog. And that is Willie Lampkin, and he... Being the lone returning starter on the offensive line has become the outright vocal leader. And I stinking love it. He's shorter, he's lighter, and he is the nastiest one of all. And there is nothing like a guy with a chip on his stinking shoulder to lead these young men to become dogs themselves. One thing that we stinking know, Willie Lampkin is going to bring it. But the question is, who else can hold down the line for this 2024 Carolina football team? There's the six foot five, 315 pound senior Jonathan Adorno. There's a six foot five, 305 pound sophomore Zach Rice, who's a former five star prospect. The six foot five, 325 pound junior Malik McGowan. Six foot seven, 310 pound junior Eli Sutton. There's the six foot eight, 325 pound sophomore Trevion Green. Who would be the main guys that Carolina's returning that have an opportunity to take one of those four starting vacant positions? Now, Carolina brought in some young guys. But as we all know, playing in the trenches as a freshman is something that very few people can do. So a lot of those guys are going to have to fill into their bodies, and they're going to need a year or two under that Brian Hess strength and conditioning Carolina program to get up to par, man. It's one thing to come in and play quarterback, which is difficult in and of itself. It's another thing to come in and play running back, wide receiver, DB, safety, you know, but when you start talking about the trenches, man, those are some stinking grown men. And there is a huge difference between a 22-year-old man and an 18-year-old who's just finding his path in the world. So sometimes it takes those guys in the trenches, whether they have the size and the body or not, to kind of grow into themselves, if you will. Now, the Hills also went to work in the transfer portal. And these are some guys that I am really stinking interested in and talking about. So, so when comes six foot five, 310 pound Georgia transfer, Austin Blasky, who played with the dogs for four years and has two years of eligibility remaining. He's a former three-star prospect out of the state of Georgia, and he appeared in 15 games over the course of his time at Georgia. Now, Austin was a two-time All-State selection in high school, and he was the number one ranked wrestler in the Georgia Class 5A. So that's really encouraging when you have a guy like a Willie Lampkin, who is like 
a wrestler in his past, man. He's got a little dog in him. And though Blasky only appeared in those 15 games for the Dogs, one thing you have to look at is the fact that this guy was part of two national championship teams. So anytime you can bring that kind of pedigree into your program, it's stinking priceless, bro. This guy has been around teams where he knows what it takes to win at the highest level, especially when we're talking about the trenches, which is where Carolina has most suffered over the course of the last decade, it seems. Blasky has a great shot at moving into the vacant center position after the departure of Corey Gaynor. Then you got the big Howard Sampson, who stands at a whopping six foot eight, 325 pounds. Sampson is a sophomore out of Houston, Texas. He transferred over from North Texas, where he spent two seasons. One is a true freshman, then he redshirted, so he's a redshirt freshman. Now he's coming in for his redshirt sophomore campaign. He has three years of eligibility remaining, and he appeared in four games, both as a true freshman and redshirt freshman for North Texas. And from all accounts, this guy has a tremendous upside, and he projects as a possible starter from the jump. Then there is the six foot six. 311-pound Georgia Tech transfer, Ja'Kia left, which he's not able to practice right now because of all the transfer rules. I think he's still finishing up his time at Georgia Tech, but he has been present at practice. He just can't actually practice, uh, and that's kind of my understanding of his situation right now. Out of high school, he was ranked the number 784 prospect and the number 69 offensive tackle in the class of 2021. He's a mid three-star guy. And uh, he played 312 snaps for Georgia Tech last year and made four total starts. And then there's the six foot four, 290 pound Muhlenberg College transfer, Zach Greenberg, who looks to be sort of a project, if you will, on that interior offensive line. So it's going to be very interesting to see how he fits into that rotation going from Division III football to playing in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Now, day one. They had Samson and Green at the tackle positions. That's six foot eight, 325 pounds at both tackle positions. That is stinking huge. And Blasky at the center position, six foot five, 310. You talk about beefing up that offensive line so that they can run the damn ball. Or at least that's what I think that they're going to do, right? That's what all this stinking height and weight is about. So that's what we're kind of looking at right now, Tar Hill Nation. Let me know down in the comment section what you think about the 2024 Hog Molly Heels. And don't forget to tell me what's your favorite barbecue. You better not stink and disappoint me. Shout out to the Huddle Hooligans for your continued support. I love you guys, and I hope you're enjoying a little off-season action. We'll catch you on the next one, Tar Hill Nation.